Well, hello, everybody, and thank you. Welcome to the March 27th, uh, 2024 City of Mesa Planning and Zoning Board Public Meeting. I'd like to welcome you all here. We'll begin by taking a roll call. So I am Chair Ayers, uh, Vice Chair Pitcher. Here. He's joining virtually today. Board Member Crockett. Here. Board Member Peterson. Here. Board Member Montez. Here. Board Member Blakeman. Here. And we'll excuse Board Member uh, Carpenter, who's not here tonight. So as part of the agenda, we do have a consent agenda. It will be read into the record and acted on in one motion, and these items will not be discussed individually. And gratefully, uh, Board Member Crockett has offered to read the consent agenda today. Thank you, Chairman Ayers. This is the consent agenda for Wednesday, March 27, 2024. Item 2A, minutes from the March 13th, 2024 planning and zoning meeting. Item 3A, case ZON 24-00038, Americana Outdoors ZFTRW Building 51, District 6, within the 7200 to 7500 blocks of South Signal Butte Road, East Side, located on the east side of Signal Butte Road, north of German Road, 19 acres plus or minus, site plan review and a special use permit. This request will allow for an industrial use. The staff recommendation is approval with conditions. Item 4A is case ZON 22-00214, Venture on Country Club, District 4, within the 1300 to 1500 blocks of South Country Club Drive, West Side, located south of Southern Avenue on the west side of Country Club Drive, three acres plus or minus, Rezone from limited commercial to limited commercial with a planned area development overlay, council use permit, and site plan review. This request will allow for a multiple residence development. The staff recommendation is approval with conditions. Item 4B is case CON 23-00343, the Craftsman on Elliott, District 6, within the 8200 to 8400 blocks of East Elliott Road, north side, within the 3,400 to 3,500 blocks of South Hawes Road, west side, and within the 3,400 to 3,600 blocks of the South 82nd Street alignment, east side, located north of Elliott Road and west of Hawes Road, 22 acres plus or minus, council use permit, site plan review, and special use permit. This request will allow for a mixed use development. The staff recommendation is approval with conditions. Item 4C is case ZON 23-00743, Central Mesa Reuse Pipeline, District 1, within the 3600 block of East Thomas Road, North Side, and the 3600 block of North Val Vista Drive, East Side, located on the east of Val Vista Drive on the north side of Thomas Road, 0.8 acres plus or minus. This is a rezone from General Industrial to public and semi-public with a bonus intensity zone overlay, council use permit and site plan review. This request will allow for the development of a major utility. The staff recommendation is to continue this item to the April 10, 2024 uh, planning and zoning board meeting. And item 5A is case ZON 23-01019, Signal Butte Crossings, District 6, within the 10,800 to 11,100 blocks of East Pecos Road, South Side, within the 6,800 to 7,600 blocks of South Signal Butte Road, East Side, and within the 10,800 to 11,100 blocks of East German Road, North Side, located south of Pecos Road and east of Signal Butte Road, 192 acres plus or minus. This request will allow for a preliminary plat for a nine lot subdivision the staff recommendation is approval with conditions. All right, thank you. We don't have anything from a common cards or request to pull anything off the consent agenda. I know you've got. Oh, I'm gonna. I was gonna move to approve the consent agenda. Well, there you go. Let's go. Request a motion. We've got the first. Is there a second? I'll second it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, please vote. I'm guessing it's unanimous that it's been approved. Chair, can you call for a board member pitcher's vote? Oh, he did. I, my vote is yes. Thank you. 
Okay, all in, it looks like unanimous. Obviously, that passes. We appreciate everybody. So we will now uh, look at the items on the consent agenda. I'll turn the time over to staff. Regular agenda. Yes, Regular chair, agenda. board members. Um, the item off of consent tonight Regular. is um, 6A case ZON 24-00164. Um, if the board wishes, we can make that presentation again. I will leave that up to you. And I am, before you start, I'm going to recuse myself and declare a conflict of interest on this. I did some work on the project. Thank, Thank you, Troy. Appreciate that. Um, I'll leave that up, and then I also want to, is there anybody that wants to hear anything in presentation? But I do want to allow the applicant, if there's anything that you'd like to come up to the board, to, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you don't have to. All right, I think we're on. <laughs> I think the board looks like we're pretty good. I think we have got a good handle on it. Chair, and that would be the, the same case for the next item, 6B's uh, case, ZON 22-00435. All right, with that, well, if we don't need a presentation, um, I'm not hearing that there's anything from the public, but is there anybody here that would like to discuss this item or speak to that at all? No, I'm not seeing anything, so I think we can close that public meeting and I'll open up the board for anything on there. If anyone would like to go ahead and make a motion for me on 6A and 6, can we do them together, 6A, 6B, or do we need to read them separately? Chair, board members, I would go ahead and vote on the first item first for the second. general plan amendment, and then after that, vote on the rezoning. There we go. Well, Chairman Ayers, I will move item 6A, which is case ZON 24-00164, Gateway Auto Mall in District 6, within the 10,700 10, to 10,900 blocks of East Pecos Road, north side and within the 6,600 to 6,700 block of South Signal Butte Road, both sides, located on the east and west side of South Signal Butte on the north side of East Pecos Road. This is 62 acres plus or minus. It is a minor general plan amendment. This request will change the general plan character area type from employment to mixed use activity. The staff recommendation is approval with conditions. So I, I move the adoption of item 6A. Thank you, and is there a second? Second. All right. So then with that, we'll move forward with the vote. Vice Chair Pitcher, what's your vote on that one? I, I vote yes. Thank you. And with that, uh, five yeses, I believe. I'm waiting to see. There we go. And uh, Board Member Peterson abstaining, that passes as well. So then we just have the one last item on 6B. Is there a motion from the board? No. I just want to continue I'll, on for a I will, I'm on a hot streak, so I'm going to continue today. I will move item 6B, which is case ZON 22-00435, Gateway Auto Mall in District 6, within the 10,700 to 11,000 blocks of East Pecos Road, north side, within the 6,500 to 6,800 blocks of South Signal Butte Road, both sides, and within the 6,500 to 6,800 blocks of South 222nd Street, east side, located on the east and west sides of Signal Butte Road and north of Pecos Road. This is 62 acres plus or minus. This is a rezone from agricultural, light industrial, and general industrial to general commercial with a planned area development overlay. This request will allow for the development of several automobile sales facilities and other commercial uses. The staff recommendation is approval with conditions. I move we adopt item 6B. And is there a second? Second. Second, all right. And go to the vote. Oh. Um, Chair, board members, can we correct the motion on that to Ooh. be approval with conditions for, for this item for 6B? To approval with conditions? Correct. Is that? Okay. Uh, oh, the staff recommendation on, on item 6B is approval with conditions. Thank you. Second. Second that one, and then, then we can do the vote. Vice Chair Pitcher, what's your vote on that one? Yes. Thank you, sir. And with that as well, same as before, five ayes with Board Member Peterson abstaining. That one passes as well. All right, appreciate everybody on that one. Is there anything from staff or Rachel, anything we need to be aware of? No, nope. Chair, board members, no updates. All right, good. So with that, I think that concludes the meeting. So I will request a motion to adjourn. You want to just roll with it, Jeffrey? I will move to adjourn <laughs> our uh, public meeting, public hearing. I second. second. All in favor, please vote. Vice Chair Pitcher, I'm guessing you're yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, we're good. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>